Hello, so this is just a video to show my friend how I've set up my um, automation stuff using the Google Home and Sonoff Basics and the Chromecast. So if you look down here, there's the one Sonoff Basic. This is for the PC light or PC lamp that I called it. And then over here I've got the switch lamp because it's right next to the switch it's not basic there you'll also see the RF controller there from Sonoff I'm busy testing some stuff with uh, a pedestrian gate and sensors so that I can be notified when the gate opens and closes up here is the Raspberry Pi running SEO or SIO I'm not sure how you pronounce that and then there's the Z-Wave stick there which I bought a long time ago and never got around to set up since they're quite expensive with the hardware so I've decided to go the sun off route but I've got the Z-Wave option as well here's my control panel um, that I created in for SEO so let's just do a quick demo turn on switch lamp sure turning on the switch lamp you can see that it's showing I'm shaking here and then if you have a look at the home assistant itself, you'll also see it there. Switched on, so I can also just switch it off there. And you'll see there, it's off now. And it's on. Off. So, I've also added both these lights into a home group called Cave, because this is my man cave. Turn on Cave Lights. Sure, turning two lights on. So this is testing home groups. I'm going to be installing some of uh, light switches and a few slampers as well. And then as soon as I've got those, I'll be creating more home groups. Turn off cave for lamps. Okay, turning off two lights. My pronunciation sucks sometimes. The other thing I want to show, so that server I've set up to uh, work on LAN also and then my PC as well so if you have a look here you will see the PC is currently off turn on Teens PC you got it turning on the Teens PC there you go so I'm going to boot into Windows because I haven't set this up from Linux I can actually shut it down from within Windows as well So this is quite nice to see on the dashboard when you go to sleep, is the PC still on or off, is it not, things like that. And then, if you look here, it's picked up that my PC is on. So it's nice just to check on either the Home Assistant itself, the interface, or from the control panel I created if it's on or off. So let's say my wife's PC is on, I left my PC on and we want them off. We're in bed already. Let's ask Google to switch them off. Turn off Teens PC. You got it, turning off the Teens PC. You can see it says you're about to be signed out. It's waiting for it to shut down. Only problem I still have is my server is not showing its status. I've spent about half a day trying to figure that out and I kind of gotten over that for now. Main thing is if I just want to switch it on. So I never shut it down anyway. So they're shutting down. Great stuff. So these are the sensors I create no, I got from Sonoff. This will go on my pedestrian gate and on my sliding gate for the car that will not run through the home assistant but it is going to run through the EV link app so I just get a notification on the app when I'm at home or wherever to know when the gate goes on and off or well, opens up goes on and off <coughs> when someone enters it or opens my gate when there's not supposed to be someone so I can check on the CCTV what's happening there so here's the second Google Home in the lounge. 
I uh, hope this works. This doesn't always work. Just trying to talk to the Chromecast. Turn on lounge TV. Ah, it's worked. So that will boot the Chromecast into something. Let's see. It also started saying play some play this and this on YouTube on the lounge TV, which is the Chromecast, or play Netflix or whatever you want to play. There we go, there we are on the almost said Raspberry Pi. My mind is wandering. Uh on the Chromecast. Let's see if this works to shut it down. Uh turn it off. Turn off Lounge TV. Nice, it's working well. Play Stranger Things on Netflix on Lounge TV. Alright, Stranger Things from Netflix. Playing on Lounge TV. So it was turned off, so it should now turn on and start playing Stranger Things on Netflix. Let's see if it worked. There we go. I had to wait quite a while though. I had to push a button on the back of the TV for some reason. So this is still a bit clunky at the moment. Stop playing Netflix. Okay Google. Turn off lounge TV. Sorry, I don't understand. Oh my word. Turn off lounge TV. There we go. Thank you, Google. Last thing I wanted to show my friend was I'm using an app called Todoist, uh, which is quite cool for adding stuff to lists or projects, they call it. Uh, I've got the Todoist app on my phone. Let me quickly grab it. So if you can see, uh, I've got some stuff, let's see, uh, projects, yes, I've got a shopping on the to-do, so there's nothing on the to-do, talk to Todoist. Sure, here's Todoist. Hi TNs, I can read you your tasks for today or just your next upcoming task. I can also complete or add new tasks in Todoist for you. Please add a new task. What is the content? Paint gates. The task has been added to your inbox project with a priority of four. Would you like to make any changes to your task like adding a label or moving it to a different project? Please move to to do. Sorry, I couldn't find a to-do project in your to-do list. <laughs> Any more changes? Please add to shopping. The task has been added. Any changes? No, thank you. Okay, do you need anything else? No, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, so it did not add it here. Because if we look into inbox, there we go in inbox, ooh, paint gates. My accent's a bit crappy for YouTube, so she struggles to understand me sometimes. But yeah, that's the gist of what I've got running currently. And uh, Albert, I hope you enjoy and I hope you get up to speed with your stuff soon. I would suggest getting that Raspberry Pi and setting SEO on there and integrating that with your Google Home and your Sonoff stuff because it works really cool, especially turning on the computers and things like that. Great, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.